plundered from the seabed and valuable historic artifacts damaged. For three centuries, this pirate ship laden with gold kept its secrets on the seabed off Sulcombe. I never dreamed that I would find uh, A, a pirate ship, and B, uh, treasure. Um, it's boy, what, boy's own stuff, really. We're beginning to build up a picture of the uh, Barbary pirates' uh, terrorization of this coast. The waters off the southwest coast conceal one of the richest collections of historic shipwrecks in the world, yet they are under threat. The only legislation that exists to prevent them being looted and vandalised is the Protection of Wrecks Act, which, being a private member's bill, means no public money can be used to enforce it, leaving the surveying, salvaging and protection of historic wrecks to amateurs, a system which is wide open to abuse. The Salcombe Cannon site in Devon was a classic example of that, where dive, unlicensed divers came on the site and were able to operate for several days uh, without anything being able to be put in place to stop them. Coins and jewellery from the Sulcombe wreck are now in the British Museum. How much treasure may be in the hands of modern day pirates is unknown. The government is being called to come up with a clear and properly funded strategy to prevent further damage to our unique maritime heritage. And you can see more on that in tonight's close-up. That's Treasure Islands at 7.30 on BBC Two.